Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you how to create a basic diamond shape. Now, of course, it's not a real diamond shape. It's not going to be look really anything, but it's an abstract diamond shape. Okay, just going to go over now to Photoshop. And one of the start points I always find is just a simple square shape. Uh, I'm just going to use it as a shape. So just over there. And I can just quickly apply it just like that and then I can rotate it now in a sense it's already a diamond shape already just by that simple act so I'm just click OK there and I could apply other effects as well I could have or transformations I could go to edit transform perspective and just hold the shift down and double click Rotate that again back, top right, and there you have it. Basic diamond shape that can be used. Well, obviously you could continue uh, modifying. Um, that's just what I'm going to do now. I'm just actually going to go from from there, and it's still a shape, a shape layer. So uh, I'm I'm just going to quickly apply effect, a style. Just go to style, and a layer layer style and it's it's always quite nice to have a start point so we can just continue from that point and of course could remove pattern overlay but gonna keep that just gonna go for there I could change the size of the bevel depths and create very interesting diamond like designs very quick and easy and obviously you could tweak it a little bit more just change that different very 1930s style diamond design right just going to stop at that point click ok and one of the things also with photoshop cc you can continue to do is just going to go over to a layer and smart objects convert to smart object now once you've got it as a smart object you can then of course you can apply effects which is quite useful to a styled design so I'm just going to go to filter render and a lens flare and you can just, of course, modify the position there. And okay, just click OK. And of course, you could change it, whatever you want to do with the lens flare. Don't have to actually use the lens flare. You could, of course, apply other effects as well, maybe a blur or whatever. So once it's a layer, of course, you can now just hold the Alt key down and you can duplicate it. And you can just keep moving that around. Alt, Alt. And you can create a whole design of diamonds in a few seconds. Anyway, I hope you found this a quick tutorial. I say it's not the ultimate way of creating a diamond design, but uh, it's certainly one way of creating one. So, always adding new tutorials. So, thank you very much.